Before you swim like the pros, you can look like the pros. Get the new Arena USA National Team collection. Exclusive USA swimming gear, meat supplies, and much, much more at swimoutlet.com. The official online shop of USA Swimming. I don't think the experience has been too different. Um, I definitely had a lot of expectations and pressures heading into 2016 with still being in school and redshirting and traveling and um, at the time still doing some media as a prospective Olympian and so now it's kind of the same. I'm not in school when I'm doing sponsor obligations and doing media as well while still training and so I think the only difference is just the experience that I have, kind of knowing what's coming next, how I can manage my training while also doing these other things that are also important. Simone Manuel was a star again at World Championships, taking gold in the 50 and 100 free. But it wasn't all gravy for Simone who won you. How was she feeling heading into the meet as opposed to how the meet first started? Heading into the meet, I felt really well. Training camp went well the whole year of training actually went well, and I feel like my meets were pretty consistent, and so I was really excited for World Championships to start. Obviously, World Championships wasn't exactly how I wanted it to be, especially in the beginning of the meet, but um, just really having the backing of Team USA and my coaches around me and my family to continue to support me and uplift me really helped me finish off the competition really strong. So I'm really pleased with, even though it wasn't exactly how I wanted it to be, I'm really pleased with my performances there. Simone, in your own words, what didn't go well at World Championships? I think most of the swimming world knows what didn't go to my way. Um, didn't have super great relay swims in the beginning. Um, my 100 free prelims was good, and then my semifinals wasn't good. It wasn't my choice to be in lane one. Um, and then I swam 156.0 on the relay the same day. And so it kind of was a roller coaster because I knew I was capable of swimming fast, but for some reason it really wasn't coming together. And um, that was a little disappointing for me because, um, like I said, I knew I was capable of swimming fast, but um, it happens. And, um, yeah. We saw the fast swims the next night from lane one when Simone won the 100 freestyle. Which surprised a lot of people. Didn't surprise me. I predicted it. I don't think it surprised Simone either. It wasn't luck. I, I trained really hard for that, and so I mean, the result was, I think, expected on my end because of the work that I put in the year. Simone hit the wall in 52 flat. Did she have a goal time in the 100 freestyle? I did it. Really? Um, well, actually, I did, but <laughs> mm -hmm. I didn't hit it. But um, I think that just gives me more motivation to get it this next year. Simone still has more to prove heading into next year. What did she gain from Worlds top down that she can take with her into the 2020 Olympic summer? A huge takeaway for me was, as I mentioned before, how I handled the competition and I didn't let the beginning races really dictate the rest of the meet for me. Um, just like really showed my resilience. I think another huge takeaway is that training that I did all year doesn't go to waste. It only helps me perform better this year. And also just really knowing that I didn't hit every mark that I wanted to this year. I didn't get a best time in the 53, which I would have liked to. Um, really makes me hone in and focus a little bit more, even though I focus a lot, but just be more motivated to really reach those goals this next year, because who wouldn't want it to happen on the biggest stage? <laughs> way, way, way too early predictions for the Olympic summer. I get in trouble when I make some own predictions. There's a lot of doubters out there. In my opinion, she already made history in the 2016 Olympic Games. She's already an icon, but she's all in next year, and gold in the 50 or 100 free? That would be an extraordinary feat. I predict she wins both, full sweep. Because if you don't know by now, you haven't been paying attention. Simone is the definition of a big meat swimmer. But who cares what I think? What do you think? Yeah, 
so I mean obviously when you do sponsor obligations it takes you away from training because you have to travel quite a bit um, and even when they do travel to you you still have to do an eight-hour shoot day and so really for me it's been communicating early with my coaches Greg and Tracy and um, allowing them to know what my schedule is going to be I communicate with my sponsor and I'm like what is the whole day look like where am I getting rest in where am I going to eat and talking with Greg and it's like if I'm gonna miss a practice maybe I have to substitute a practice earlier in the week or later on in the week or sometimes I've had to just miss practice altogether because I've learned that sometimes it's better to just rest instead of do all these things and try to get practice in instead of um, draining yourself and so that's really hard for me because I really dislike taking myself away from training but I also know how important it is for me to take care of my body and make sure I'm healthy and um, I've learned a lot of those things and learned to manage travel well and um, I think that's what's kind of made the journey exciting is because I've been able to do these things but I feel like it hasn't taken away from how I've been able to perform in the pool and practice.